This is quite unusual. Uh, it's a painting on a frame. Uh, the, the painting is at the lower part of the frame, and the frame itself uh, is not of tremendous note, but it is an original Florentine frame uh, from the 15th century. But the lower part of the frame has a, an image uh, painted by, now attributed to uh, Domenico Ghirlandaio, who was a very important uh, Italian Renaissance painter of the 15th century. We ran a big workshop. Michelangelo was one of his pupils. So um, he has a, quite a place in the history of Renaissance painting. So there's this little painting of Christ rising out of his tomb at the lower part of the frame. Um, it's beautifully painted in egg tempera. And um, so it's the curator's desire to show the frame for the painting, not to have anything actually in the frame itself. So the frame, the image on the frame will be presented pretty much at eye level in the gallery. The process of conservation uh, began first with uh, documenting the original condition and because the uh, painting was in a very fragile state, actually a little chunk had fallen off in the gallery. Right here, this little white area was the, uh, is a, a recent loss. Uh, left a little film of gesso on the wood, but actually a whole chunk of um, original gesso and gold leaf actually came off there. And uh, these other losses, which you can see are quite numerous, uh, are not recent. And they're filled with old dirt and so on. So the painting hasn't been treated for quite a long time. But uh, also here you can see in this raking light shot that there are some very obvious areas of lifting here. Uh, other areas that were detached are pretty flat, and so you don't really see that well in this type of raking light. Uh, but this is a good documentation for how the painting looked just prior to treatment. This painting would be about 540 years old. This is a little treasure, and uh, it was in very fragile and tenuous condition uh, before treatment. The reason that I thought that this would be valuable to have this record of the present condition after treatment is that uh, if we examine the painting down the line several years hence, uh, say it was going to go on loan somewhere, and we want to see if the painting was still remaining stable and, and there doesn't seem, we could use this image and compare it with another RTI image at that time and see what, you know, if certain areas seem to have lifted along cracks, if there were any structural changes in the painting we could compare that would give us a wonderful comparison, I think, to the present condition. So now let's take a look at our first glance of the RTI. Wow, <laughs> that's marvelous. Oh, you can really see the confirmation of the uh, of paint areas, and uh, you can see the edges of my fillings. I mean, there there's a filling, and uh, you can you know pretty much see that that's an island. And there's a, another area of filling here, and there's an area here. And, um, you know, we can see, as I said, we can see the typography so that a later image a few years from now, uh, we could compare, and is that typography still, you know, has it altered? So that's, uh, that would be a, a useful, very useful for, you know, keeping track of the, uh, the condition of this painting over time. Well, that's fantastic to hear. Now I want to point out this is an interactive, right? So right now you can see I've zoomed in. This is the whole RTI. I can move the lighting to any position. Oh, great. Okay, so wow. now uh, let's take a look at this. Oh, track. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or where, where was the filling you were talking about, the island? Uh, this, this is the island here, and right. there's also one down here. And these are less obvious. Uh, the problem with this one is the original paint kind of curved down, so I couldn't, um, I couldn't fill over original paint to make a flat surface, so I had the filling had to be somewhat depressed. But these are great. These are cracks, and this, these have all had adhesive uh, infused into them, but you know, sometimes debris is underneath and you can't completely flatten a mm -hmm. lifted area. But these are definitely all areas that you'd want to keep track of because in the future they might result in, you know, they might start to lift away. The, you know, we got adhesive in so far, but the outer edges 
weren't necessarily adhered, so the cleavage can start to, to lift again. So yeah, all those are, are that's a wonderful recording of uh, the but state of the surface. I think it's a very useful technique uh, to keep track of the condition of this painting. I mean, it's very talking very specifically about this painting. I think that uh, it uh, gives us much more detail than what we would have with normal raking light. Uh, because we get the light from various angles, one direction of raking light will emphasize certain things but may not pick up others unless you were to almost go around from every angle which shows what, basically what you're doing. So um, we get, I believe this gives us uh, considerably more information and uh, alerts, like I, I'm alerted right now to, to see that these areas uh, you know, could have problems in the future and I, I would want to keep, a, keep a, an eye on those. Really. Tony, thank you so much. Oh, this it's absolutely my fabulous. pleasure. I'm very uh, grateful that you guys are introducing yet another really useful tool to our examining and documenting condition. <laughs> I can't stop playing with it. <laughs> it's great.